I give you a warm welcome once again on SLTV Lab. Today we are going to see the remaining part of the axioskeleton. You remember last time we saw the part of the axioskeleton, which is the thoracic cage and the vertebral column. Today we are going to see just the cranial bones and another bone called hyoid bone. So let's go. Good. Last time we saw the first part of the axioskeleton. We saw the thoracic cage and the vertebral column. Today we are going to see the cranial bones, bones of the head. Let's start with another bone here. There is a bone down here, it's called hyoid bone. It is called hyoid bone. Good. This is the first bone. Then bones of the face or facial bone. We start with this one, the lower jaw, it is called mandible. It is called mandible. We consider it as one bone. This is the one that helps to open and close the mouth. That's the first bone. Another bone, it is this one, just the upper jaw. It is called maxilla. It has two parts, the left and the right parts. They are separated by the main median line. Good. This is the left and the right part. After maxilla, we see the zygomatic bone. This prominence within the face, it is zygomatic bone. They are considered as two bones, the left and the right. There is another one here within the nose. Just the lower part of the nose, it is called verma. Just the base of the nose that separates the left and the right nostril, it is called verma. So there are other two prominences on the left, the right, and the left side. They are called inferior nosocomia. The inferior nosocomia. There are two: the left and the right one. Then. Here, on the roof of the, the nose, that extends within the roof of the mouth, it is called palatine. Palatine, they are two, the left and the right one. It starts from the nose into the roof of the mouth. It is called palatine. Good. After palatine, we see this bone that gives our nose a shape. That shape of our nose is called nose bone. There is left nozzle bone and right nozzle bone. Good. After nozzle bone, we go into eye orbit. The, the one on the medial side of the eye orbit, they are called lacrimal bone. Lacrimal bone. Good. On each part of the eye orbit. Good. So, above the nozzle bone, we see the frontal bone. This is the bone that makes the forehead. It is called the frontal bone. Good. Let's go on the side. Here on the side, we see what we call sphenoid bone. Sphenoid bone. In front of sphenoid bone, going into deep, we see what we call ethmoid bone, sphenoid and ethmoid bone. Just posterior to sphenoid bone, we see the temporal bone. It is called temporal bone. We see two. There is one on the left, then there is another one on the right side. This is temporal, this is sphenoid, then down here there is ethmoid bone. So, from temporal bone, we see another bone called parietal bone. Parietal bones is like the one that makes the roof of a cranium, the roof of the head. Good. This is the parietal bone. There is left, I mean right parietal bone and then left parietal bone. So after parietal bone, 
posterior here, we see what we call occipital bone. This is the occipital. The occipital bone or the occiput is the one that makes the posterior part of the, the cranium. It's the one that makes the prominence just at the back of the head. It is called the occiput. So guys, you see once again in summary, we have seen the occiput, the parietal bones, two parietal bones. We have seen one frontal bone, two temporal bone, two sphenoid bone, two ethmoid bones deep. We have seen the lacrimal bone. We have seen the nozzle bone, the zygomatic, the maxilla, and the mandible. And then there is femur, inferior nozzle conca, then paratine, paratine, the one that extends into the mouth as the roof of the mouth. Then finally we have seen the hyoid bone. The hyoid bone that is the one that around the thyroid gland. It's protected the thyroid gland. So guys, thank you very much. This is, I mean, these are the bones of the cranium. It was the second part of the axial secretor. Thank you very much for watching. This is the end of the skeletal system general anatomy. So in other videos about the skeletal system, we'll be seeing the critical anatomy to show you a bone and critical significance to the bone. So guys, if you liked the video, please subscribe and share it to your colleagues. Don't forget to please like, subscribe and the bell.